How's it going, everyone? Uh, this is part two of the basic how to make a 2D platformer with Love2D uh, tutorial series. And in this video, we are going to um, be changing some of our existing code um, in preparation for the next video, which will be adding collision um, with some simple rectangles. Uh, but yeah, so basically, all we're going to do today is be changing some of these variables um, and how they interact with some of our update functions. Um, and the reason for this is, as I said, um, we'll be using them uh, for, for a good purpose in the next video. So the um, first, I guess we should just start off um, uh, adding these variables. So you're gonna need a x velocity, um, and this can be set to zero. Uh, y velocity again can be set to zero. And then next two very uh, next next variable we will need will be the terminal velocity. Um, and this will be some constant that we don't want to um, go past. Um, so I'm trying to think, I think five hundred sounds pretty good. Um, 500 sounds pretty good. So now that we have our variables, um, let's just change how some of our existing code works. Um, I'm just going to start off by deleting this dy variable. Um, Alright, and then I'm going to replace all the dy's with player.y velocity. And all we're doing really is we're just replacing one variable with another variable um, that has the same purpose. So hopefully that that wasn't too confusing. All we did was just replace dy with player dot y velocity. Um, yep. And then now some new code we're gonna add will be um, we don't want our y velocity variable to go past um, the terminal velocity variable, um, our constant, I should say. Uh, I'm just writing this out. Okay, what is this saying? Uh, this saying this is saying um, if the y velocity is less than the terminal velocity, uh, y velocity equals y velocity plus player dot gravity times dt. So essentially doing the same thing that we did to the dy variable, except now, um, oops, I didn't finish this statement. Uh, There we go. Um, if, if we're going past the terminal velocity, uh, if the y velocity is going past the terminal velocity, then we're going to cap it out. We're going to cap the y velocity out at terminal velocity. So it can never go past our terminal velocity constant, um, essentially. And if we run this, it, it, will, it will have the same, um, it will do the same exact thing our last. Uh, our last iteration did. So nothing changed really. Uh, we're just switching some variables around. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna take this, um, this statement right here We are where we are um, manipulating the y position of the player. I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna place it uh, inside this update function. Uh, all right. Um, and you'll see why I did that in a second. Um, now we will want to replace our mod our our updating of the x um, position of the player um, and sh and use x velocity variable somehow in here. Um, so something I'm just gonna do to make this look a little bit to make this uh, be understood a little bit simpler. I'm going to move the player.x um, arithmetic up here. Uh, instead of doing player.run speed, I'm going to do x velocity. And now that I'm adding the x velocity variable to the player.x variable and then setting it equal to itself, 
um, we're going to need to manipulate the x velocity so that it isn't um, zero. Otherwise, we wouldn't move uh, if we run this code right now. So we'll, we'll change this appropriately. Uh, so player dot x velocities will be uh, player dot will will be run speed if we we're pressing the D key, and then uh, player dot x velocity will be negative player dot run speed. And so this is essentially doing the same exact purpose that that our previous statements did. We're just we're just switching some variables around. And there will be uh, not a syntax error if I run this, but there will be a logical error uh, if I run this. And it can be seen if you just press either of the key, um, you don't stop if you're pressing neither. And so we want to fix that. So I'm going to add an else this if else if statement um, saying if that if we're not pressing the A key or the D key, then we want to. Um, set the player to x velocity to zero. As you can see, now uh, we just kind of stay in midair a little bit, or don't move on the x-axis when we're pressing, when we're not pressing either key. Um, so yeah, so that's it for this video. Um, in the next video, we will be uh, messing around with some collision 